Today we are going to do sonometer experiment and we will prove the law of length. For that we have the instrument over here. This is the sonometer box. These are known as the knife edges. This paper piece is called the rider. This wire, we have put a tension to this wire by using these weights. Each is of 500 grams. The hanger is having a weight of 500 grams. So let us write the tension in our observation table. This is our observation table. Mass of the hanger is 500 grams grams. Total mass is equal to 2500 gram. Tension applied to the wire is 2500 gram into 980 times. Now let us take a reading. We have a set of tuning forks here. Now the tuning forks are having various frequencies. This is 512, this is 425, 384, 341. We take it in the decreasing order. Now you take the highest order tuning fork that is 512. So we take the highest one and the smallest distance between the knife edges. Now let us take the reading. You hit the tuning fork on a rubber pad like this. Hit it so that it vibrates in your hand. Hold the tuning fork over here. And on increasing the distance, keep the rider at the center between the knife edges. So let us go on increasing it. Put the rider at the center. Again go on increasing it. So we go on increasing till the rider starts vibrating. The rider falls. Let us check it once more. Put the rider back at the center. And let us check whether the reading is right or wrong. So again we hit the tuning fork on this. It is falling so beautifully. Let us measure the length from here. Since we have started with 0, we can take the reading directly. It is 12.2. So let us write down this reading here as 12.2 centimeters. You can also measure the length like this using another ruler if you are not taking this as zero. If we are choosing these two knife edges at the center then you can use a ruler like this to measure the length between these two. So like that we are going to take readings with all the tuning forks. The length will go on increasing as the frequency goes on decreasing. So let's find and write down the reading. So let us calculate the n into l, the frequency into the length. So log of n is 2.7093, log of l is 1.0828, add this to the 3.7921. NL comes out to be 6195. Now let us take the reading for 480, 426 and 384. So for 480, we calculate NL. Similarly for 426 and 384. So these are the readings for NL. We take mean NL and we find it as 5852 hertz centimeter. We have taken a reading for an unknown frequency. We don't know the frequency. We have taken the reading in the same way. 
since n is not known we cannot find nn for that we are going to find the unknown using this formula unknown frequency will be equal to nl upon l dash l dash is 16.4 mean nl is 5852 so 5852 divided by 16.4 gives out 356.8 hertz that is the unknown frequency let us write down the result so we have nl is equal to 5852 hertz centimeter which is constant if you look over here the readings are almost around 6000 so they are constant when t and m the tension and the linear mass density am is kept constant hence the law of length is verified nl is constant the graph of reciprocal of vibrating length against frequency of vibration of wire if we plot it so for that we need 1 by l so a work for assignment for use to find 1 by l and plot a graph of 1 by l versus the frequency if you plot a graph like this you get a straight line graph therefore since the graph is a straight line n is inversely proportional to l this is by calculation and this is by graph that we prove that nl is constant we found the unknown frequency we took a tuning fork we assumed it is unknown to you and that came out to be 356.8 hertz from graph also you can find the unknown frequency you choose this l dash 1 by l dash search it on the graph draw a line parallel to the x axis drop a line which is parallel to the y axis whatever is the reading that is n dash so that n dash will be almost equal to this so students this is your homework you will find out n dash by graph thank you